Hello everyone and welcome to chapter 2 of Cut or Die. Today I'm going to be showing you how to escape this new maze and survive the new monsters. As you guys have already beat chapter 1, I'm going to skip over the basics. On this map, there are four cables that connect to a door in the middle of the maze. It's important that we fix the cables as there are two coloured doors in there, as well as a tall access point that we'll need later. Firstly, you're going to want to grab the red paint can. Then we're going to head out of the right side exit and follow this wire slightly. Then you're going to see the first of the 13 paintbrushes. Go ahead and grab that. Then right around the corner, there's a second one, followed by what we're after, the red door. Inside the red room, you'll be able to find the screwdriver, which will let you open the vent and get the next paint colour. Obviously, avoid the monster at all costs, he will eat you. Once you're ready to go to the vent, you want to go straight until you reach the two wires, take a right and follow it along a little bit. We're then going to take a left and have a quick pit stop to grab this paintbrush. Don't mind me hiding behind the wall, I'm just trying not to die. After you've grabbed the paintbrush, go back over this way and follow it along and that's where you'll find the vent. Inside the vent we've got the orange paint colour and that'll be the next door that we go to. Well, since we're stuck in this vent, I'm going to take this opportunity to tell you about our new merch! Jam Gang Drip Hoodies. These are limited edition and we'll be deleting them from the store once we hit 10,000 subscribers. Right, off to the orange room. This one's nice and easy, you just want to head over to the main gate and head on inside. Obviously, if it's not open, you need to turn on all of the wires. Any of them that aren't blue are currently off. Inside the orange room, you'll find the next colour, yellow. Now yellow is another one, nice and easy. All you've got to do is come outside, head up the ladder, and there'll be another paintbrush at the end of the graffiti. You're gonna fall down the hatch, and just around the corner, there's a little passageway, and that's where you'll find the yellow door. Inside the yellow door, we have the dynamite. I bet you can't guess what we're gonna do with this bad boy. Before we do though, we've got a couple more paintbrushes to collect. The first one is through this passageway, which we're gonna follow along a little bit until we find the blue door. And near the blue door, there is a small room where you can find the paintbrush. And our next stop is Kaboom Land. This one's again nice and easy. You want to head over to where the red door was that I showed you at the start of the video. Once you arrive at that location, then just follow it along a little bit. You'll have another room to your left. This is where we get the next paintbrush. That's number seven. And then follow it along again. And you will have this brick wall which you're going to blow up. Head through the teleporter and you're going to find yourself in Noodle Land. How lovely. If you die in here, you just respawn, so it's not too big a deal. What you want to do is travel all the way across and you will find yourself at the exit with a new paintbrush and a new paint colour. Head on through the portal and you'll end up where you just blew up the TNT. You want to head out and go back to that ladder that you saw on the way here. We're going to use it to get closer to the green door in a safe way. Drop down the hatch but be careful of behind you. This is a spawn point, as you can see from a previous one I did here. Oh! As you heard, that scared me a lot, and I don't want the same to happen to you. Anyways, the green room is right through this hole here. Just follow it along, and you will be there in no time. Inside the green room, we're going to have a pickaxe, as well as some planks of wood that we need a crowbar to open. In order for us to use this pickaxe, we need to head back to the main gate and avoid the dangerous monsters. Once you arrive, you want to pop open the hatch, head down the hole, and enter the void. Welcome to Noodle Land V2. In all seriousness, this one is so easy. Literally all you have to do is climb up this one noodle and follow it all the way to the end, and that's it. All the others are useless. Great stuff. Now you've got teal and the ninth paintbrush. Let's go to the next spot. So, to get to the teal door, we need to head over towards the red one, take a left, follow it along past the ladder, go towards the wall that we blew up earlier, and go back into the portal. Back to Noodle World V1? Alright, you guys know the drill. Follow it along, and you'll find the teal door. Inside the teal door, you're going to find the beautiful blue paint, which we're going to use to open the blue door. The easiest way to get there is to go back to the main gate, take a right when you're leaving, and then a left, and you're right there. Open up the blue door, and inside you will find a torch as well as your 10th paintbrush. Next you want to head out of the blue door and go back towards the main gate. Follow it along this hallway, keep going until you reach the red door. Turn left again towards the dynamite wall and instead of turn right you're going to go left and see the cobwebs here. 
Inside this room you're going to find the purple paint. This one again, a lovely nice and easy one. You're going to want to head back to the main gate and it's just inside there. Inside the purple door you're going to find the staff key card as well as your 11th paintbrush. We're getting really close now guys. The staff key card, you want to go straight from the main gate. Take a left and then another left and there's the door. Head on into Onion Ringland and start climbing up. While I'm climbing, please be sure to like and subscribe. It really helps out the channel and it makes my day. Thank you all so much. Grab the crowbar and then we're going to head back towards the green room and open up that wooden floor. Follow my footsteps and we'll get to the green place, no problem. If you do get lost, you can go from the gate by following me from here. Make sure you're super careful on this trip because I've noticed the monster likes to hang around here a lot. If you do see the monster, try and hang around this hole, it's super useful and he'll run all the way around to try and get you. The green door is right here, so let's open that pallet and see what's down there. So in the basement we've got the pink paint as well as the second to last paintbrush. Time to head up the ladder and get the last things we need. We need to go all the way back to the red room that we opened at the start, because that's where the pink door is. Make sure you do not die at this point, it is so painful. You'll have to start all the way from the beginning and open all of the coloured doors again. Once you've made your way back to the main gate, head over to what used to be the red door and open up the pink one. Inside this you will find the key to salvation, the last door that we need to open. So to get there, we need to safely head back to the green room. Don't do what I'm doing here, it's incredibly stupid. And you'll see I got super lucky. I mean, look how close he was to killing me here. If he'd have got me, I probably would have rage quit. That would have been like 20 minutes of maze running down the drain. Anyway, from the green room, you just want to turn left and follow it along. And there you are. Voila! Pop the key in there. Now that you've got the final paintbrush, you've got to go to the monster's home. Or at least that's what I like to think it is. Head on through the portal and appreciate the beauty of it. Wow! That's right, we've got homemade sound effects. Let's go get the white paint and head out of this maze. Now all you've got to do is bring the white paint back to spawn. You got this. The easiest way to do that is to take a right turn after the teleporter and you basically just follow a straight line. There's loads of little holes you can hide in. You can hide in the vent, the main gate. It's a pretty easy run back to spawn, so you guys should make it okay. And that's it. If you're still watching the video, then you've made it to the end. Great job, you. Now you've got a little bit of a bonus clip to look forward to. We're going to do the white door mini game. If you don't know how to beat this one, you've basically just got to dodge the paint cans. It's pretty easy. They'll all splat onto the walls and make a little bit of a mess. Thank you all for joining me and for watching this far. If you like this video and you like Roblox horror games, click that video at the top left. I can guarantee you'll enjoy it.